hello everyone so today i will tell you briefly in a very quick way how you can install mongodb in your windows 10 machine so first of all we need to download the windows 10 setup so you can give a search like mongodb download and here you can see mongodb community download you can go to that site and simply uh, download it from here like you have to click the uh, I'm going with this current version and the platform is Windows it's already selected and the packages I'm going with the MSI package and after that you can uh, click download it's around uh, let's see I guess it's around 2 GB as I can remember so I have already downloaded it if I download it it's uh, sorry it's around uh, 218 MB and you can download it so I have already downloaded it in on my downloads folder so can open it and simply you have to uh, run the setup I simply double click the installed MongoDB setup and click next and I accept the terms and license and here I select the complete version and as well as in here I'm not going to change any of these default uh, selections like I'm going to run service as a network service user and here you can see the location for the log files where we can see the database errors and everything is logged on there and database directory is here click next and install mongodb compass so this is something useful if you are working with mongodb in future as well so then click install so what that mongodb compass basically uh, does is that it gives a graphical interface like if you see the mongodb in here after installation we normally run on a shell uh, we write scripts to create like uh, show DB uh, something like that in the script in the shell so if you are if you want to get a graphical interface for the tables if you want to see it graphically you can use mongodb compass so it will take some time to install as you can see so after installation there are two steps two very simple steps that needs to be done so we will do that as well and complete this uh, tutorial here you can see our installation is finished so the next thing what we have to do is we have to simply create few two folders inside your uh, local disk C so the two, the two folders are you have to move for the local uh, local disk C and create a folder called data inside local disk C and inside you have to create a folder called DB so that's it that's the uh, next step that you have to do just create empty two folders and the next thing is what you have to do is you have to get the installation location it, uh, MongoDB was installed in program files and inside uh, MongoDB you can see and here you have the server this is the version inside bin so you have to get this location click here and copy it so these are the files like so when we use mongodb we normally start the server using a uh, command called mongod type in mongod so if you type mongod so this is the exe that's going to execute but the thing is uh, if you want to run it here you have to uh, through your command prompt you have to come to this location and then only you can uh, run this uh, mongod.exe and also we use mongod.exe to run our scripts as well so but what we are going to do is we have to add this as a path variable so simply you can run it after that from anywhere so you don't have to locate 
to this location and run this so let's do that uh, copy it and type environment so you get this edit environmental uh, variables you have to click this button and here inside system variables you have to select the path variable and then click edit and here uh, you can see I have already added <laughs> these two times so what you have to do is uh, as a new user you have to create new and paste your mongodb installation file path that we have copied and after that click ok click ok here and ok here ok now you are done so the mongodb is installed properly and you have created the uh, usual steps to add this as a path variable and the required folders as well after that let's run mongodb open the command prompt command prompt and simply type mongod here your mongodb server has started and we can create an uh, we can get another command prompt and here you type mongo so here it comes the mongo shell like if you want to get the so here is the th here's the shell that you can uh, create tables delete tables create databases create collections not tables actually collections so you don't have tables inside this uh, mongodb it's non-relational like you create collection instead of tables so that's it in here you can like you know uh, type simple commands like if you want to show dbs so here are the uh, this uh, admin config local are the dbs that comes on default and this is more now this is my upcoming uh, tutorial about mon stack so that's the database created on for that use and here you can see like you can execute different commands like uh, if you want to create another DB like you can type use uh, my new DB so it creates a DB called my new DB and uh, switched inside my new DB so you can uh, create collections inside and so many stuff so that's another set of uh, tutorials and stuff you can do with mongodb so that's it for this tutorial like you can see our mongo d is running here go d command and here our, our mongo shell is running using the mongo command so that's it so after install installing this you can uh, start with developing applications using mongodb that's it guys thank you very much